Joining Congressman Ellison right now are Charles Adams and Alette Jilji. Both are members of the Young Democrats at Eden Prairie High School. Democratic Visions is handmade by volunteers for the entire metro region by DFL Senate District 42. All right, as a student preparing for college next year, many students are coming back with insurmountable amounts of student loans and debt. I'm wondering what is Washington doing and specifically the House of Representatives to help students out and make it more achievable to attend college and not have insurmountable amounts of debt? Well, this is a huge issue. It's a threat to our, our middle class now and in the future. And one of the things we did uh, when the Democrats were in the majority is we passed a bill that got the middlemen out of the student loan business and started basically having government-sponsored student loans. This reduced the, uh, the uh, interest rates on student loans significantly. We also increased Pell Grants and Stafford loans. This is a big deal, but it's still too high because there's a combination of things. One is tuition is too high, and then the other thing, and the reason is, is that state governments have been reducing their commitment to higher education all across the United States. Why? Because they got less money. And then, of course, uh, you know, we've been reducing Pell Grants uh, since the 70s. Pell Grants used to cover as much as 70% of a student's education, and it's been going down every year. I believe that students need to be a more robust, active block, voting block in our country. And so that's why I'm committed to making sure that we empower young people at the ballot box and throughout the year to make sure that we can keep college educated education affordable. What type of legislative initiatives are being taken to better the achievement gap throughout the nation? Well, you know, that's another thing that's really important. The achievement gap is that when you test students, black and white students and students of color, uh, oftentimes students of color test below the white students. And this is an issue. We want equality for all in America. We want everybody to do well in America. We believe everybody can do well. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you right now, we have invested in, uh, in, in reducing the achievement gap by investing in students. But I'm going to tell you, we didn't even know there was really, we thought there was an achievement gap. We figured there was an achievement gap. But until we started doing more testing, we didn't know it for sure. Now we know uh, what, what we have to do. And quite frankly, as much trouble as No Child Left Behind has caused, and I am definitely in favor of changing it, mm -hmm. I'm not in favor of getting rid of it altogether because the testing that is done allows us to know how much more work we have to do. And so uh, it's something that I believe we gotta commit to. I wanna see us use those tests, not in the middle of the year, but in the beginning, so that we can help figure out in the beginning of the year what students need to work on so that they can achieve uh, uh, their, their grade level and, and really uh, do well. But let me just say this, look, America has serious problems. We got global climate change, we got all kinds of issues, we got war and peace issues, we need to work on how to get along with each other, we need people to bring their diplomatic talent, their scientific talent, their artistic talent. We really can't al uh, afford to leave the talents of any Americans on the sideline, so I'm glad you're concerned about this because it really is everybody's concern. So look, you guys, I'm a member of Congress. I don't get to come home too much because it got me stuck in Washington. But what do you want our United States Congress to know uh, from, from the mouths of our young people? What, what's on your mind and what do we need to focus on? For me, it's that students are active. They, they do care about what's going on. The stereotype may be that they are uninformed and that they don't care, but we are active and we are looking and worried about the current situation, the economic situation and the debt and that students do care and are really looking forward to better days with more economic prosperity and whatnot. I'll carry that back, Charles. Right. You bet. Thank What's, you. What about your perspective? Um, I think that right now there's a new generation of students who are more involved internationally. There's more mm -hmm. global citizens and all these kids are caring more about famines in Somalia and just economic um, equality throughout the world. And I think it's very important for Congress to show that type of new student initiative throughout their legislation and foreign policy. Well, can I say to you that there's no greater thing you can do than make friends for America? So, because we, we need to talk out the world's problems. We want to talk it out, not fight it out, right? And so I hope that you can be successful in your goal to be a, uh, a, a diplomat. And, and Charles, I wish you all the best and want to encourage you guys to think about internships uh, and don't forget, if you want to know more, to check out KeithEllison.org because we got plenty of information on that. <laughs>
All right. Absolutely. All right, you guys. Follow me on Twitter. Yeah, we'll do. At Keith Ellison. <laughs> hey, look, man, I got 2,300, 23,000 Twitter followers. Whoa. Whoa. But we need, we need you guys to jump on All board, right? right? Yeah. Give you a shout out tonight. Yeah. My man, thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. Democratic Visions is handmade by volunteers for DFL Senate District 42, Lori Pryor, Chair.